Stocks on Wall Street rallying Tuesday on positive earning news, earnings news and remarks by Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen. For more on that and a view of the markets, we're joined by Jeff Tomasulo, CEO of Vespula Capital and co-founder of TacticalIncome.com. Welcome back, Jeff, and belated Happy New Year. Thank you for having me. Well, Jeff, uh, the markets have been rallying for weeks now on prospects for a bigger uh, s fiscal stimulus package. Uh, so what was it about Janet Yellen's remarks? Uh, she said today, you know, act big, the U.S. should act big, that Wall Street was so enamored with. Well, I guess, you know, she has to say act big now because remember, she's not the Fed, uh, head of the Fed anymore. She actually works for Joe Biden, right? So, of course, you're going to hear her come out and say she wants a big stimulus package. But... Um, the, good, the market is looking at this stimulus package because, hey, like the last time we got stimulus checks like that, a lot of people are using that stimulus package to invest, right, and and partly save and also spend. And we've seen that over the holiday season with, you know, the uh, Amazon and, and Walmart and some of the retail sales that have come out. People are not afraid to spend money. So when we have this stimulus package coming out, you have to see the future and say to yourself, hey, People are obviously going to use that money to do both. They're going to invest. They're going to spend money. And on top of that, we have a vaccine that is starting to work, right? If you think six months out where we're going to have a lot of pent up people that want to travel and they're going to spend more money in the next five or six months. So I think that's where you're seeing a little bit of a pop today because the stimulus is something that people have needed. And I think we're getting something that is a lot bigger than anybody expected. I want to get back to the stimulus and also pull back uh, the uh, vaccines later. But uh, bank profits, uh, it's another thing I want to ask you about, given that last week we heard blowout earnings from J.P. Morgan Chase. Today, blowout earnings from Goldman Sachs. And yes, Citigroup's and Bank of America's profits fell, but they easily breezed past Wall Street's estimates. So, Jeff, what happened and what does it mean if they're a leading indicator for the economy and the markets for the prospects for the markets? Well, I think it's, it's healthy for the markets to start to see, obviously, banks. And remember, Back in, I think it was November, you could correct me if I'm wrong, they took away, you know, they gave the rights to banks to start to buy back their stock, right? That right there was a huge signal uh, that this was a opportunity to buy stocks, right? And of course, we were going to see, everybody knew that the trade in profits, uh, you know, IPOs have been crazy. So the banks have been making money that way. And we also saw an edge up in interest rates, right? So people were expecting, once you start to see interest rates, Kind of start to tick up that's going to help banks and their profitability going forward um so that's where i think we're getting a lot of this uh, uh you know with the obviously banks performing extremely i mean goldman sachs if you've looked at its chart it's been an unbelievable performer over the last i would say three more three four months <laughs> and lastly jeff um oh, investors money on the sidelines what should they be putting it in 2021 participate possibly in the great rotation or buy what on the dips yeah, it's it, it, that's a tough question because I think we've had a big move in that uh, Russell 2000. We, you and I, I, I think I, you know, were on the show a couple times ago saying I thought it was a great time to buy small cap. What I want to see is obviously a nice correction of you know 10 percent in the Russell, also 10 percent to you know 15 percent correction in the S&P to give me opportunities. The problem is I don't think I'm going to get it because when you look around the world. And you look about how people with the stimulus package coming right now, where are you going to put your money? Right. And that is the biggest problem the United States with the, you know, it has low interest rates. When you're looking to get yield, you're being forced to take risk on, which is to put your money into equity. So any kind of dip of two to three percent, people are buying that. And until that changes, I don't know if we're going to get that 10 to 15 percent correction uh, yet, but eventually we will. A wash in money. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thank you, Fred. Our thanks to Jeff Tomasulo of Vespula Capital. I'm Fred Cantayama in New York. This is Reuters.